can Justin Herbert and the Chargers tie things up in terms of record with their division rival Kansas City Chiefs? That and more today on the Thursday Night Preview brought to you by FootballGuys.com. Save time, worry less, win more. We have the Kansas City Chiefs heading to take on the Los Angeles Chargers with a total of 52.5. The Chargers are plus three in this game. Uh, In terms of injury, we have a completely clean bill of health uh, from the primary players from the Chiefs. We do have injuries to Jarek McKinnon. He will not be available. He is on IR and Josh Gordon is on the COVID-19 list. You likely don't need those players in the playoff anyways. One player you do care about is Austin Eckler. He had a... DNP on Monday, but that doesn't mean anything because they didn't actually practice because they're playing on Thursday. He was limited on Tuesday. He was limited on Wednesday. So he is questionable for this game, but it looks like he is likely to play. We have him projected to play. So we'll go ahead and share the screen and start going over some of these projections. It's very top heavy. You're not going to get a lot of what the heck flex is in this game, especially not in the playoffs. You haven't used these guys yet, so you're not going to use them now. Um, So Justin Herbert at QB4, actually one spot ahead of Patrick Mahomes right there at QB5. You've obviously got a shootout in this game, 53.5 point uh, over under. So no questions asked. Clearly you're firing up those two. Head over to running back. You're going to have three viable options in this game. And of course, false and Eckler mixes. It's going to be a mess. Um, Probably Justin Jackson will get the lead touches, but... If he misses, you're probably not going to end up starting any of the three because um, it's just going to be a uh, backfield by committee, and I don't think they're going to be very successful. So let's assume Austin Eckler plays and cross our fingers. We have Austin Eckler right here at running back five. He's projected 18.8. And then you scroll down a bit. You've got Clyde Edwards-Hilaire at running back 17 with 14.1. But then you still have Daryl Williams being relevant at 10.7. So... I still feel fully comfortable starting Daryl Williams, even if it's the the playoffs. Hopefully the rest of your team's solid if you have to start Daryl Williams. Head over here to wide receiver. You're going to have three viable options in this game. And then if you have to what the flex any of what the heck flex uh, any of the other players in this game, um, it's probably not going to be a great day for you. So Keenan Allen is returning. It's going to be uh Wide receiver six for him, 18. Uh, Tyreek Hill, I just passed over. He's wide receiver four, 19.2 points. And then once you scroll down a little ways, you actually have Mike Williams projected for 14.4. That's a solid projection for him given, uh, I guess, his disappointing second half of the year. But again, with a 53.5 point over under, um, you're going to get a lot of fantasy production, especially from people who have target shares nearing 20%, right? Last thing we're going to do is head over here to tight end, and you're going to get Travis Kelsey, who's had a pretty disappointing last few games, but we are projecting him for tight end for 15.7 points overall, and you have to scroll a bit. I would not feel super comfortable starting Jared Cook, um, but he is tight end 26, 5.9 points, and then, I mean... If you if you're desperate last minute, you need to put in Donald Parham. Um, he always has the opportunity to give you a touchdown, so he is not too far behind Jared Cook at tight end thirty three with four point nine. So good luck everybody in the first week of the playoffs, and I will catch y'all next week. Peace.